Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe at Jodo Cigars back for another review here in the month of January. Moving on with a brand that comes from Dion Giolito, Illusione. And he's got an extension that came out late last year to his one-off line that he has had since 2017. So it's the first iteration in a while in that lineup. This is the Illusione one-off Allegria. This is the Corona, which is a 5 and 1 8 by 42 ring gauge, which is opposed to the Corona Gorda size that they don't have in this particular line, but typically a Corona Gorda is 5 and a half by 46. This is a much smaller, just over 5 inch by 42 ring gauge. Looking at the cigar, very pretty looking stick. Got the name of the cigar brand right there on the band. No question about it. Very nice milk chocolate brown wrapper leaf on this one. Very tight seams. Some visible veins. Nice double cap on the top. Nice looking roll. Nice and even. Good looking pack. Got kind of a medium fur, firm feel to the pack on this one. This is a Nicaraguan pearl, so long fillers, binder, and wrap relief come from the country of Nicaragua, and these are produced at the factory titled the Agricola Ganadera Norteña. Pre-light aromas. We actually have some milk chocolate coming off of the body, as well as some barnyard earth. There's some hay in there. Off the foot, we're getting sweet tea, like a sweet iced tea and sweet natural tobacco. All right, let's go ahead and get this one cut. Check out the cold draw. Cold draw has got a little bit of a firm draw, hoping that it opens up a little bit. It's not terrible, but I would like this to be a little less firm, if possible. Getting some dark bready notes off of the cold draw. Fig Newtons, as well as milk chocolate candy. And some earth notes as well. All right, let's go ahead and start toasting, see what we can find out. Off the first puff, a decent enough draw, still a little firmer than I would like, but it's still technically within the range of where I'm willing to accept it. Smoke output is decent, medium bodied, immediately getting some caramel, chocolate, slash butterscotch sort of flavors coming through. It's a pretty sweet flavor profile, noticing some immediate candy sweetness coming off of the, the smoke on the draw. There's some floral sweetness. Mmm, boy, that caramel is really getting nice. And there's some nice aged cedar notes coming through on the draw as well. It's a very nice, it's got a very aged sort of feel to it, but not so aged where the flavors just become overly musty and muted. This one's got a nice mature feeling uh, flavor profile on the draw at this point, still very early but I like the way it's starting off. Let this go until we get a little further into the first third. I'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Got a nice looking ash here, very nice burn line, solid white. Draw has opened up a little bit, still on the firm side but I'm bitten happier with the way the draw is performing at this point. Flavor's still medium, probably a little medium plus now, and the body is medium at this point as well. Flavors I am getting, getting a really pronounced salted caramel with little bits of milk chocolate. We're getting a very fragrant and somewhat musty cedar. We're getting white pepper. We're getting some floral sweetness coming through. 
and we're getting a really interesting blend of baking spices that have some kick to them in the uh, just the heat department. It's got a little bit of spicy tingle on the palate and I really kind of dig it. It's really, really pleasant. On the retrohale, Retrohale continues that floral and cedar profile with a bright white pepper, a heavy amount of very interesting cinnamon. It's a really deep, rich and bright cinnamon that really pops on the retro. And I really do like this one a lot. Salted caramel is starting to come through on the retro on the back end as well. Salted caramel is really starting to taste good on this and I'm liking this a lot. All right, let this go until I get about halfway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, about 32 minutes in. Not quite at the halfway point, but close enough. Still got a nice burn line. A little wavy, but it's nothing to sneer at. Draw is still about where it was at the last segment. Not quite as loose as I was hoping it would be, but it's still acceptable. Smoke output is still just fine. Body is medium, flavors are medium, maybe a little medium plus. Flavors I am getting at this point Got it's a nice chocolate covered almond. It's a deep roasted almond flavor. Really interesting and very pleasant. We're getting some subtle orange, maybe some orange marmalade sort of notes coming through. I really like that. There's some anise slash, what, maybe some fennel root notes coming through. Uh, really interesting flavors that I'm getting. And there's some espresso bean coming through on the draw as well. On the retro hill. Got some more espresso, some milk chocolate, white pepper, and cinnamon, and some almond and cedar notes coming through in the back end of that retro as well. Really digging these flavors. They're very layered, it's fairly dynamic, changing it up every now and then as you take a different puff. It's not always the same, but those are the flavors I'm getting, and I gotta say, I like them a lot. All right, let this go until I get towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, hour and five minutes in. Still got a good burn line. <clears throat> Never had to touch it up. Ashed it three times. For being a small cigar, still got a great burn time. Very impressed with that. Still medium body, still medium full flavors. Interesting to note, when Dion Giolito released the Allegria, he said he wanted it to be a stronger flavored sister blend to the one-off. Allegria in Italian translate as joy, and I'm pretty happy with how the cigar is performed. I'm not sure if it was really that stronger of a body cigar, still a very similar body profile to the original one-off, but there were definitely some more flavors that popped out in this one that I really, really enjoy. Um, the back part of this cigar, I was getting a lot more cedar, a lot more roasted almond, Starting to get some more floral sweetness coming into the foreground. Also getting some nice buttered toast notes with like an apricot preserve on it. That was really interesting. And still getting some salt, little bits of milk chocolate, still getting little bits of espresso. And that caramel is still there in the background, although it's not as pronounced as it was earlier. On the retro hill. Salt, cedar, almond, florals, little bits of cinnamon. A lot going on in this cigar. Very complex and layered, which is something that I expect from anything that comes from Illusione. If you like Illusione's things, you're really going to dig this one. It's a great follow-up to the original one-off, and it's a great addition to the Illusione lineup in general. I like this one a lot, and I'll definitely be smoking these in the future for many, many months to come, I am certain. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the icon in the bottom right corner of the screen if you're watching on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. If you happen to be watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button toward the top right of the screen. Please don't forget to follow Jonas Cigars on Instagram. And please don't forget to follow me on Cigar Public. Hope you guys are having a great day. 
for many more days to come. I hope you are healthy, happy, and smoking great cigars. Until next time, smoke a good one.